Good morning everyone. It's just over 15 weeks since I first recorded one of these messages and on that day I had the very sad duty of informing you that the bishops had decided that because of the health situation in the country all the masses publicly celebrated were to be suspended. I said at that time that we were still going to be able to visit our churches but very quickly it became obvious that that wasn't going to be possible either. We've had 15 weeks which is a long time without being able to go to our churches and our lives have been altered in that way and in many many other ways of course. Today at long last I'm able to give you better news that because things are improving in the country generally we're able at last to open our churches for private prayer. This week already we've had our churches open for people to pop in on a Tuesday morning or a Thursday or Saturday afternoon and it's been wonderful to see quite a few of you uh, making that effort and coming in to pay a visit to the Blessed Sacrament. Even more wonderfully, we've now been told that we can start the celebration of Mass once again under certain circumstances and with various uh, restrictions to do with social distancing and so on. So I'm delighted to be able to tell you today that we're going to start the celebration of public masses in this parish on Saturday evening the 18th of July. That's almost two weeks away. Now you may wonder why we can't start immediately and of course we would love to do that but as I say there are things that need to be in place before we can do so. First of all we have to make arrangements to ensure social distancing, as I say, in our churches, so that people ha are going to be two metres apart from one another in church, which naturally will mean um, we can't fit as many people into the churches as we normally do. So there'll be a limited number of people at Mass at any one time. Because of that, we're going to have to have a system of booking in for masses and that has to be put in place before we can celebrate our first masses. I'd like you, once the masses begin, to book a place at mass by going online on the parish website and using the facility that will be there for you to do that. If you absolutely can't book in online, I'll reserve five or six places at every mass for those who can only telephone in the presbytery and, and make a booking in that way. The other thing that we do desperately need in order to be able to open the churches for Mass is stewards. At every Mass we're hoping to have four people there who will lead people to their places and will make sure that um, the various hygiene regulations are uh, followed strictly so that everyone can be confident that they can come to Mass without any danger to their health. So if you think you could help out by being a steward at any of the Masses, then please do get in touch with me as soon as possible. I'd be delighted to hear from you. We already have a list of almost 20 people who are willing to volunteer for that job because they're, they're helping out with the, the visits to the church. But I would be very grateful for your assistance if you can help us in that way. It would be a wonderful thing for us to be able to go back to Mass. During all these weeks our religion has been a matter of our personal prayers and of us trying to, to access Mass online, making spiritual communions and offering up little sacrifices of our own. But there's no substitute for us as Catholics to being able to go to the Holy Mass when heaven comes down to earth 
and God is so close to us. There's no substitute for us as Catholics to that moment when we can go to Holy Communion sacramentally and our Lord comes to us and becomes a part of us and his strength flows into us. It'll be a wonderful thing when we can go to Mass and receive Holy Communion once again. When I was a little boy um, in Goul, in the convent chapel, there was a cover on the altar and it had uh, written on the front of it the words Magister Adest et Vocat Te. It meant the Master is here and is calling you. And that is how I feel at the moment actually, that the Lord is here and he is sending out through me a call to you to come to him. This morning, when I celebrated the Holy Mass, the Gospel had our Lord's words, Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Our Lord is calling you to him. He does want you to come to him. Now it may take quite a long time before we are back to normal. For a start, the social distancing things will mean that uh, our masses are very unusual for quite a while and we don't know how long that will go on. But I'm also aware that there'll be many of you who are sort of lacking the self-confidence to come to mass once again. That you've got so used, in fact, to being isolated and alone to being safe in your own homes, that it will take quite a, a, a spurt of courage to encourage you to, to break out of that. And until the moment when you feel confident to do that, of course, uh, we have to accept that that is the way things are going to be. But please God, little by little, your confidence will return. Little by little, you will take up your life again, and particularly the life of your faith again. I'm praying for you all that God will give you that confidence and that little by little we will return to normal. Until that time, our bishops have said that the obligation to go to Mass on a Sunday is not there, that uh, the obligation to hear Mass on Sunday has been suspended for the duration of this present crisis. So you don't need to be worried that you are in sin by not going to Mass. But our Lord is calling you and he would like to see you. And you, I know, would like to see him. And please God, as the weeks progress, that confidence will grow in you that will enable you to come back to him. And I look forward to seeing you so very much but I send you now, all of you, my heartfelt blessings and my prayers that these steps that we're taking will bring us little by little back to the normal sacramental life of the Catholic way of living. That you'll be able once again to go to the Holy Mass and receive our Lord in the sacrament of Holy Communion that once again our children will be baptised and our marriages will be blessed, that those who have died will receive the, the funeral rites of the church. All these things that have cost us so much over these last few weeks, but little by little they will be lifted from us. God bless you all and I look forward to seeing you in the very near future. Thank you very much.